Right, so we're doing some more baking today. Uh, covers or the one casing half is in the oven at about 170 degrees or so. And we're going to look to put the crankshaft and this uh, gearbox shaft in on the one side. And then we'll put all the rest of the gears in and hopefully then heat up the other crank half and drop it on top. So um, yeah, let's see whether this works. Right, so the curve seems hot. Let's see whether this works. Boom! Like a glove! Crankshaft. Boom! Like a glove! <laughs> yes! Awesome. Okay, so I fitted the rest of the gears to the one casing half and the gasket with a tiny little smear of silicon sealer. Now we're going to take the other half out and hopefully drop it on top. So lucky. Right, so I eventually got everything back together. <laughs> um, I just used the bolts that um, hold the casing together to draw the two halves together. And then I just had to give this output shaft a slight tap from the other side to uh, free up the gearbox. It had just sort of pushed all the shafts up against the um, the bushings on the one side so a little tap there freed that all up uh, we've got gears the um, crankshaft moves freely everything looks right so um, yeah we'll slowly start I need to make some gaskets um, here for the bottom of the cylinder um, and I need to find a head gasket and that as well for the for the head but uh, yeah we're getting there slowly but surely so you guys can see I've got the new piston here compared to Betty's old one which is all scratched up and damaged this is a Sax 50 two-speed piston it was the closest one I could find to the beta one um, if you check I put them together like that you'll see uh, the heights are very 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 similar within sort of half a millimeter on the, the total length uh, gudgeon pin is exactly the same uh, height from the, the crown um, but the biggest difference is the dome on the original piston is slightly larger compared to the new one so um, what we do is with a cylinder head we'll uh, just take some material off here to gain a bit more or gain the lost compression that we uh, we're losing from having a slightly smaller dome and then uh, I'll just do a quick um, try assembly and uh, we can check um, how it measures up against the, the transfers and the exhaust. Right, so the piston is currently at top dead center and you can see it comes up nicely right to the top of the, the cylinder. Um, what I might do as well, I need to anyway, is just take a bit of material off the top of the cylinder there just to get it flat again. That will also help gain a little bit more of the compression. And then uh, if I turn it down to bottom dead center, I'll see right there's bottom dead center the transfers are fully open and so is the exhaust port so it 
measures up quite nicely. I'm quite happy with that actually. So uh, yeah, the piston is definitely a go. Um, yeah, just got to sort out the, the deck of the cylinder and the combustion chamber as well, or the head at least. And um, yeah, then we can start assembling the rest. So I've made some new gaskets for Betty's cylinder over here. Um, it's all been sort of sanded down so everything's nice and uh, straight and level now. That and the cylinder head. Um, so next is I'll clean the cylinder and the head up and then we'll put in the new seals and uh, then we'll fit the cylinder and the head and then carry on with the rest of the clutch and the primary drive and all of that. Right, so here I've got the new piston, the gudgeon pin, the little end needle bearing, the two uh, clips to hold the gudgeon pin in, two brand new um, piston rings, a little container with some fresh oil in it. Um, what we're going to do is we'll put the rings on the piston first and then assemble it all into the motor. Once that's done, we'll uh, get the gaskets and that onto the cylinder and we'll assemble that as well. Right, so I got the sleeve back on after a bit of a struggle with the new piston rings. They're a bit tight and quite sharp on the edges so they don't slide into the bottom of the cylinder too easily. So next up is the cylinder head. Um,
Right, so I've got the points backing plate and that's on. Uh, it's just loosely fitted at the moment. I'm going to put on the um, flower or whatever you call it. And then just double check the points gap. Um, and if it's good, we can tighten that all up. And then move on to the other side. Right, so all the ignition components are back in. Um, set the points gap with my trusty feeler gauges. Everything looks good. Tighten it all up. Um, for a while I thought uh, something was rubbing against the um, flywheel, magneto, magnet wheel, um, as you can hear. Until I realized that it's the piston in the, in the cylinder going up and down. Um, anyway, so that's all back together. We'll spin it around and do the primary drive and that on the other side. I'm uh, just busy assembling the clutch and I thought I'd show you guys just a quick little trick. This is the sort of primary drive or the center part of the clutch and um, as we saw in um, this disassembly video it's got um, a thrust bearing on the back so um, obviously this goes in the other way around with the bearings running on this hardened washer here um, and the problem is if you try and assemble it all the little ball bearings fall out um, so what I've done is I've just sort of glued them in using a bit of grease so that when I turn the drive over and put it onto the shaft the ball bearings don't fall out, fall out. Oh, there we go all back together and ready to be fitted um, getting the clutch clip back in was a bit of a mission I had to make quite a interesting contraption with the puller and uh, an extra spanner or so but uh, anyway, it's all back together. Um, just got to fill it up with oil and that. But uh, yeah, it shifts gear. It's got good compression. Uh, so far, so good. Well, there we go. Betty's engine's all assembled. Uh, everything looks A1. I'll uh, put it back into the frame and then uh, join me in the next uh, video where I get to show you guys what uh, it finally looks like after I've painted it all up and assembled everything. So uh, if you liked any of the videos, Hit subscribe and the like button, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't miss it, it's going to be really cool. Um, ciao, ciao.